Hi, Dr. Gina Fermanta here, and today we're talking about male body contouring after weight loss. Some of the most common things I'm asked are, is the male chest after weight loss? Um, extra adiposity, or usually in this population, is excess skin. We want to reduce the size of the fat pad, which might be granular underneath the nipple, tighten the skin, and actually raise the nipple or complex in the middle of the breast mound, in addition to center it, and sometimes decrease the size. So let's start with that. Usually, measurements involve finding the midline. In most patients, actually 98% of patients, the belly button or umbilicus is not in the center. This patient read the book. I also then kind of mark this natural pectoralis contour. Ideally, scars, there always will be scars, but if we can hide them within natural body creases or folds, they're a lot more forgiving. For men, it's usually this inferior border of the pec muscle. Next thing I do is mark areas for liposuction. Usually it's fatty tissue that we're trying to debulk, though in some men it actually is glandular tissue or true gynecomastia. So usually mark wherever I have a little protuberance of tissue because in addition, we like to liposuction that and remove it. In some patients, that is enough. Just liposuction alone with a compression garment. In other patients, however, this, there is a large degree of skin laxity and the nipple or complex is maybe dilated and not in the middle of the breast mound where we want it in a man. So next we measure where that position of the nipple or complex is going to be. And roughly, we mark something called the midclavicular line. Probably right there. And then we do some measurements. Where should the male nipple or complex lie? Well, it's about, should be about 21 centimeters from the sternum. which on this man is right here, or 18 centimeters from the midclavicular line. So that's where my two marks intersect. And that's the position of where that nipple or complex could be. So I mark the right, then the left side. And then where should they lie in this horizontal plane? Well, roughly about 21 centimeters away from each other. So you can see this gentleman's about 24. And yes, there are natural variations, but roughly about 21 centimeters, we'll put it here in relation to its, to its partner. So what this looks like then, the next question I'm asked is how big should the nipple or complex be? And this gentleman actually has pretty small nipple or complexes, but if you put it under tension, you can see it's a little bit larger. The ideal size of a male nipple or complex is 2.1 centimeters. So again, this patient read the book, about 2.5 centimeters. So what we'll be doing is making this a little bit smaller and we actually have templates to do that, and then raising it to its new location. And we do that by keeping it attached to a pedicle or a stock in some patients, meaning remove the skin around it and leave it attached to swing it up once we resect the skin, something kind of like that. Or we can cut it off and actually place it like a, like a skin graft, a free nipple graft, to place it in its proper permission, position. A lot of these techniques do alter the nipple or complex sensation. So, um, and sensation is twofold when it comes to the areola and the nipple. So that means a light touch sensation, might not be able to feel clothing touch it. Also may not um, have the erectile properties when it's cold outside. So that's how you mark a male breast. 